Parents eat meat every meal, but never buy it. The boy was very puzzled and curious. Where on earth did all this meat come from? During dinner, he finally asked his parents, but his mother's face suddenly turned pale. Damn it, we can't send him to bed every time he doesn't want to eat. She hastily told him to go back to his room and sleep, but the boy couldn't fall asleep in his bed. He heard footsteps outside his room, so he came out, only to find his parents, eating meat in front of the refrigerator, accompanied by an eerie and unsettling laughter. Frightened, he quickly ran back to his room, seeking refuge under the covers. But as he jumped onto the bed, it collapsed. He fell into a pool of blood-red liquid. Before he could even struggle, he was submerged in the crimson and fluid. Fortunately, it was just a haunting nightmare. The following day, parents brought another plate of meat, but faced with the mysterious origin of the meat, the boy couldn't bring himself to eat it. He observed his father, spending a lot of time in the basement, but he was always kept away from it. The boy was convinced that there must be some dark secret hidden down there. In the evening, he sneaked out of his room, determined to uncover the truth. As he descended the stairs, he was shocked to see his parents embracing each other, seemingly gnawing at one another. His mother's mouth was swollen and bruised. His sudden appearance startled them. His mother quickly rushed him back to his room. Nevertheless, the disturbing image stayed with the boy, haunting his thoughts. The next day at school, the teacher asked the students to draw a picture of their parents. When the teacher saw the boy's drawing, she was taken aback. She immediately called the boy's mother to discuss the matter. The mother explained the boy seemed to lean towards a vegetarian lifestyle. Recently, they have been trying to encourage him to eat more meat to grow healthier. Perhaps the steak wasn't well cooked, and he found it too bloody and gruesome. Determined to uncover the truth, the boy secretly sneaked into his father's workplace and hid. After a short while, his father entered the room cautiously. Looking around to ensure no one was watching, he approached a lifeless body and took out a surgical knife to begin dissecting it. However, the scissor accidentally fell to the ground. The boy quietly picked it up and quickly ran outside. During dinner, the table was once again filled with a sumptuous feast of meat, but the boy had lost his appetite. Suddenly, he accidentally dropped the scissor on the floor. As he bent down to pick it up, he was startled to find his father doing the same. The boy froze, watching his father pick up the scissors. When his father asked where the scissors came from, the boy could only lie, saying he found it outside. However, his father didn't seem to believe him, and promptly inserted the scissors back into the boy's plate. Terrified, the boy quickly left the dining table. He stealthily opened his parents' bedroom door, making sure they were fast asleep. Quietly, he tiptoed down to the basement, determined to uncover its hidden secrets. As he entered, he was immediately confronted by a blood-stained kitchen knife, causing his nerves to jolt. Carefully retreating, he unexpectedly had a severed leg drop onto his head, sending him into a state of panic. He quickly dashed back to his room, only to find his father sitting on the bed, sporting a sinister grin. What's that in your pocket? Give it to me. Hastily pulling out some snacks from his pocket, the boy claimed he was merely looking for a midnight snack skillfully trying to deceive his father. The following day, the boy confided in his teacher about the eerie events of the previous night. Worried, the teacher accompanied him back home. However, when they reached the basement, they found it immaculately clean, with no traces of anything unusual. In a sudden, a lifeless body fell from above, prompting the teacher to scream in horror. Just then, the father returned in his car. The teacher and the boy made a run for it, but the teacher fell behind and was knocked unconscious. Parents eat meat every meal, but never buy. Later that evening, the parents were grilling meat at home. Seizing a moment, the boy attempted a surprise attack on his father. But he was overpowered and tied up instead. It was then that the father finally revealed their long-kept secret. They were part of an ancient tribe of cannibals, consuming human flesh all along. As their descendant, the boy's fate was destined to be their next meal. Taunting him, the father offered a piece of meat, but the boy pretended to cooperate while reaching for a small knife nearby, attempting to stab his father. Nick. Infuriated, the father grabbed the boy, preparing to end his life. In an act of desperation, the mother intervened. Stabbing her husband with a knife, leading to a fierce struggle between the parents. In the end, they both lay lifeless. The boy seized the opportunity to escape and sought refuge at his grandparents' home. Under their loving care, he finally experienced the warmth of a real family. However, not long after he fell asleep, his grandmother offered him a meal, a hamburger filled with various meats, plunging the boy into utter despair. This is a movie that appears to be a horror film, but is actually centered around children and depicts their tense relationship with their parents. It also rises to a higher level, telling the story of how the outcasts resist assimilation and fight for survival, carrying significant sociological implications. If you're interested, you can watch the film to gain more insight.